Welcome to week four of Fruit of the Spirit Home Sunday School. And today we're going to talk about peace. If you are keeping track of your at-home attendance, go ahead and do that now. And then if you'll bow your head, we are going to start with our opening prayer. Dear God, many things worry us and make us feel anxious inside. You ask us to tell you about our problems and give them to you. We know you can take care of these problems. Thank you. Amen. Our Bible verse today is coming from 2 Kings chapter 6, verses 14 through 17. I'll begin reading that Bible verse now, those Bible verses. So the king sent the horses and chariots there with a strong army. They came at night and surrounded the city. Elisha's servant got up early and went out. He saw an army with horses and chariots surrounding the city. His servant said to Elisha, Oh no, master, what will we do? Don't be afraid, Elisha said, because there are more of us than there are of them. Then Elisha prayed, Lord, please open his eyes that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he saw that the mountain was full of horses and fiery chariots surrounding Elisha. <clears throat> so the story today we're talking about is Elisha and his servant. Elisha saw that the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire. These were God's angels sent to protect them. Elisha could be peaceful in the face of danger because he knew God was near, giving his protection. Elisha prayed that God would open the eyes of his servant. The servant's eyes were opened. He saw God's chariots. He also saw, saw God blind the eyes of the enemies. None of the enemies could see a thing. Elisha could be peaceful and calm because he knew that God was big enough to take care of everything. This week's worksheet um, has the soldier and the chariots. So if you have that in your inbox, or if you wanna follow the um, link on the church website to print it out, and right now, um, I'd like you to get, gather something to color with like fire colors, like reds and oranges, yellows, that type of thing. And also you'll need another um, pen or pencil to write inside the shield. So inside the shield, I want you to think about something that worries you. What worries you that you could ask God to help you um, be protected from? So... Something I thought of was um, sometimes I worry if I'm going to be safe. So I'm going to write safe on my shield. And if you are not a speller yet, ask your adult to help you. So I wrote, I worry about being safe. And then with your fire color crayons or markers or colored pencils, I want you to start the chariots on fire. Make it look like the chariots are on fire. So for me, that is going to be um, doing some, I'll call them scribbles, but some fire scribbles. You can probably hear me coloring on the video. And so it's okay to go out of the lines today. So this is my very good fire, my fire drawings of the chariots being on fire. The um, older students, your Bible verse challenge this week is a continuation of Philippians. Last week we, uh, I assigned you Philippians 4 and um, this is a continuation of it and it's going to be um, Philippians 4 verses 6 through 7. So again, there's a worksheet um, on the church website, and if you're on the email list, it'll be in 
uh, the email, uh, the worksheet, and there's, I put a few questions down. So if you and your family want to talk about the questions after you've read the verse and just kind of get your own thoughts down, um, that's kind of the older kid challenge here this school year. And I would like to uh, wrap up the video today with a closing prayer. So if you would bow your head, I have my candle turned on, my battery operated one, and we will go to closing prayer now. So bow your head. God, thank you for guarding over our hearts and our minds with your peace. We praise you for being powerful enough to handle everything that worries us. We love you. Amen. And I have the email to hold up for anyone that would like to get signed up to get the worksheets or if you have any questions about home Sunday school or anything else going on, um, I can follow up with you. So there's the email address. And then um, youth Bibles that were supposed to be at the end of September that I mentioned in last week's video. Um, I have reached out to the families and they are rescheduled for the, I think, last three weeks in October. I know the last three weeks in October. And so those families have been contacted. Um, so that did get rescheduled. And um, as far as anything else, just watch, check the church website for updates and that type of thing. And I hope you have a great week and know that God will bring you peace. Good night.